President Trump often places blame for the rise in coronavirus case numbers on high rates of testing. However, state health officials say testing alone does not account for Michigan's spike in case rates. So here to explain more about that is our chief health editor, Dr. Parthar Nandy. Dr. Nandy, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So while it's true that testing is up, so are the proportion of positivity cases, right? Absolutely, Glenn, okay. and that's unfortunately true. And here's the thing, if we compare, let's say we compare September to October, right? The numbers are extremely different. In the state of Michigan, you know, we conducted just over 813,000 tests between September 1 and 26, so the month of September. Whereas this, in the same time frame, Glenda and Alan, in October, there are over a million tests conducted. So that's about 23% increase in testing. Now, here's the concerning part. When we look at the actual number of cases that are positive in September between the 1st and the 23rd, close to 15,800 cases of COVID-19. You compare that in October, the numbers skyrocketed to over 29,000. That means this, that the proportion of tests that are positive jumped by a whopping 87%. Testing increased by 23%, but the positive test by 87%. That's a huge spike. So not only are more people getting tests, I get it, but, but more of them are becoming positive. So it's not just the fact that we have tests. I mean, there's a real increase in spread of the virus in our communities. You know, Doc, the positive case numbers have continued to go up over the past few days. Do we know why we are seeing those case numbers go up? Several reasons, Alan, and, and then there are more young people, right, getting sick, especially now that schools, universities have in-class teaching, right? In fact, as of Monday, and we reported this, there's 30 new outbreaks in schools, 29 of them were in grades K through 12. Besides educational settings, we have clusters of cases happening in workplaces, long-term care facilities, we've had those before, and religious gatherings, but also there are community-acquired cases and cases linked to social gatherings where people are just not taking this seriously and spreading it in those situations. Tough numbers there, Dr. Nandy. Um, what sort of increases are we seeing for hospitalizations and deaths? So, so Glenn, unfortunately, we're seeing an increase in both, and this yeah. is this is in contrast to some of the rumors you've got, you've seen, right? So you've got to get the facts and we're giving this to you. Not surprising, right? Because when, when numbers go up, hospitalizations go up. When hospitalizations go up, then what? You have increase in deaths. That's how this works. And let's do another comparison with facts, September and October. On September 26th, there were 503 people hospitalized in Michigan. October 26th, we had over 1,400. Those are real numbers. Looking at deaths, September had 299, uh, 289 rather, people die from COVID-19 so far in October, and we're still not done, 450 deaths. So those are spikes in numbers in a short amount of time. Makes me concerned, and I've said this many times. What we're seeing now is a reflection, reflective of behavior three weeks ago. So now is the time for everyone to do their part. Don't just say, oh, I saw it on some social media site that people are getting tested more, and that's why there's more infections. Not true. We can do something about it if we believe it, slow the spread, wear masks, wash hands, disinfect, and physically distance. If you're going to go to an event like a rally, just wear a mask and distance. You can go to whatever event, just be have the precautions so we can save some lives. Hmm. So All right, important. Dr. Nandy, thank you. It is so important to heed that advice. Absolutely. And remember, if you do have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. Coronavirus concerns.